found out about the league was on my first recruitment visit to my first school. Um, it was actually the Silver Knight Stadium at Holman, so that was my first ever field that I played in college baseball. Um, and I remember my coach talking about it, saying like, "We don't send any players to the Futures League because no one here is like up to that par yet, but like maybe one day you could play there." Um, so the league always interested me. I played in the Hamptons League for the last two years, um, and I knew my goal, uh, my next goal, was to move to the Futures League. So I reached out to all the teams in the area of Boston, and the Rocks took up to me. Yeah, so uh, I kind of, my I feel like my recruitment was definitely different from like, you know, different kids, um, you know, because I mean, I'm obviously, I haven't played college baseball yet. Um, so I was at like a, a Shop for Life event, uh, the Home Run Derby that they usually do each year. And one of the Brockton coaches was there. Um, and he kind of like approached me after and I got his number. And, you know, I, I was kind of trying to get into the, the Futures League um, just to, be able to get that experience playing college baseball before actually, you know, stepping foot on campus because I know it's a big uh, step up from high school ball. So it ended up uh, working out. Like I met all the coaches. Um, you know, they're all really nice, really great to me, um, and I'm grateful for them giving me this opportunity. So playing summer baseball, it's it really gets you ready um, for the grind of a college season. It's a lot of long bus trips at school. Uh, you'll play five games a week, four games a week, and Having played summer ball, uh, my freshman year I ended up redshirting, so I hadn't gone through a full grind of a season. And then last summer, being able to play summer ball and playing five days a week really got me ready for the grind of this school year. And then I was able to play every game at school, thankfully, because I was I knew what to do to prepare myself to be physically and mentally ready for that long. We played 49 games at school this year to be ready to put up with that and all the challenges that it faces. So I think summer ball really builds you and gears you up toward being able to play for school because that's the ultimate goal is to get ready for school ball to be the best player you can be. <laughs> okay so for us team culture it's a little bit different here because at first we had like a lot of 10 day guys so it was a little bit hard to like, get to know everybody and now we're starting to settle in and like be able to like know people by the first names get to know but I think it's super cool and that's the thing that I like love about summer ball is that everyone gets to come together from like a whole bunch of different like levels, uh, JUCO, NCAA, D1, D2, D3, and everyone can teach each other something. So it's super fun to like go over summer and like meet new guys and like learn their theories in baseball and all the things they've learned from other coaches and just combine it all. And it's, it's just a super fun experience. So I feel like, I mean, we do a lot as a team, you know, like obviously, you know, playing six out of seven days a week. Um, probably some of my favorite moments are, you know, honestly just sitting at the table in the clubhouse, just just talking it up, you know, we'll have the speaker going, playing music. Um, so I feel like we kind of, you know, bond over that and um, just, you know, different different music and stuff like that. Um, even just like pulling the tarp, like, you know, it's definitely, definitely not fun to do, you know, but um, all of us are kind of, you know, in it together because we got to be able to get it done. You know, it's a big, big tarp for the field. So I feel like that's where we really, you know, build those, you know, team bonded moments. And I feel like definitely the away games on the bus, you know, we'll play Mafia. Um, so that's definitely like, you know, some of my favorite moments, um, you know, because I mean, you know, when we're on the field, you know, we got to be serious, um, you know, not saying that we don't bond on the field, um, but, you know, those are kind of the moments off the field where you're able to, you know, connect with your teammates in a, in a different way. So That's awesome. I think the team culture is good, um, especially we have a lot of young guys going into their freshman year of high school. Um, so they're kind of just dipping their toes into the water of college baseball. And I feel that the older guys, um, I've done a very good job of kind of helping them ease that transition because personally I didn't play summer baseball like this going into my freshman year so arriving on campus in the fall it was, it was a whole different world so a lot of these young guys it's their first opportunity being in the clubhouse every day with the same guys as opposed to just high school and I feel like they're doing a really good job of getting integrated with the rest of the team just being able to figure out what a real team environment is like and um, being able to you know just deal with the ups and downs of a long season with uh, a lot of stuff going on and a lot of games being played. I mean for me this this was a big deal for me making history again in another league. I mean that's what I always strive for and my goal is you know to make to make college baseball accessible to all girls coming up because when I first came there was no really girls playing college baseball so nobody really knew about it. So now I want it to be something that where girls look when they go look for college leagues in summer, like whether it's summer or regular season, that they know they have somewhere to go and they don't have to switch over to softball. So it's really becoming a, now a regular option for girls that are playing in high school that they don't have to switch over. Some of the best memories I've had are 
hanging out with some of these younger guys and guys from different backgrounds because you have guys all divisions all conferences all over the country coming in and playing and, uh, yeah just being able to share experiences with them help make their college baseball experience better because mostly for the younger guys because they have they have more time left in the game than I do so being able to for them to be able to look back on the summer saying oh I had a great time you know playing with Sam that's what that's what I hopefully do it for so that they look back and think of this as a positive experience regardless of the wins or losses or how they did on the field just being able to build those lifelong relationships and hanging out in the locker room with them talking about guys that we know from outside of baseball mutual friends that we have different places we've been together it's just Makes it all worthwhile. My most favorite memory was the day I made history on the map. Top of the night and history being made here in the Futures League. Stepping out on the mound out of Sonoma State. It's the first female in Futures League history, Marika Lissick. This crowd is going crazy right now. She comes in the ninth in a big spot. Rock's trying to preserve the two run lead. She's got a big arm to display here. Right-hander transfer from Riviera University, actually in New England. First pitch down low, 1-0 count. I mean, nothing could really top that. I was so nervous, and, you know, I really wanted to put on a good show for everybody and prove to them why.